Hey everyone, uh, Damien Dvidovich here from the ETD Minato Consort, bringing you a uh, free vs. 3 Dawnfall Soulstorm replay on the Cassio Lucian map. So, yeah, just um, have a look at the current players. We've got um, on the bottom left one team and on the top right the other team. And bottom left, we've got um, a team of 15 as Pure Guard, Just Peace as the Necrons, and Leo 14 as the Chaos Space Marines. And as for the top right team, we've got um, Miria as the Elder, Epaminond, Epaminond, or whatever, however you want to pronounce that, as the Space Marines, and Diao Ni Ma as um, the Space Marines again. <laughs> so, just have a look at the opening build. Looks like. Um, Diao is uh, going for a bit of an odd build actually, he might be going for a uh, early tier 2 with a focus on uh, scout marines, but then again he's only built a single squad though, oh actually no wait, he's built a second squad while I was talking. So yeah, it looks like um gone for standard scouts, uh, s standard number of scouts, um, going for an armory first instead of a barracks to go to tier 2 is a bit of an odd decision though to say the least. <coughs> but yeah, chances are he'll most likely be going to uh, tier 2. Or he'll be going for heavy uh, scout upgrades. I'll have to see what happens there. And what do you know, some early aggression actually from Diao on uh, Matima. So he's actually managed to decap a point. He's lost a single scout marine in the uh, process though. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad actually. Even though he probably should have built a... yep, he's built another... yeah, he's built a third um, scout marine squad. So, I'm not entirely sure what he's planning to do though. Normally, when you see players going for fast um, Tier 2, they would only uh, build either the barracks or armory uh, structure and then build a single power plant because that would be enough to get them to Tier 2 uh, quickly. But um, yeah, for some reason, DL has not done that, so I'm not entirely sure why. Seems to be going with a um, relatively standard opening right after um, <laughs> two uh, plasma generators in the armory. It's just a uh, Bit odd. Anyway, so the bottom left team, Imperial Guards, got off to a pretty standard start, except for that early harassment by the uh, Space Marine player. Necrons, pretty standard indeed. Got their Necron Warriors out, and we're not seeing a Lord just yet, though, from what I can say. <coughs> and the Cal Space Marine looks like um, he's gone for a bit of a standard start. Looks like he's decided to start with. Um, Chaos Lord, and he's yeah, just got a couple of uh, cultists as well. So chances are he might be going for tier two actually, if he unless if he gets a um, set of space marines or something like that um, out pretty soon. As for the top right team, oh, what do you know? Elder Miria has actually gone for fast tier two, and the first two tier two unit seems to be the Harlequins. So it's interesting to see what uh, difference they can make. As for Epin Epinanon, or how you want to call it, Epanin Epaninon. Uh, whatever. Um, they're going for a couple of space marine squads and uh, yeah, relatively a standard start with a heavy bolter behind the um, listing post. So yeah, some interesting openings there indeed. Got a bit of harassment actually um, being applied by good old Diao. Yeah, not totally sure what he's planning to do. So he's going to tier two right now, but he's got a, a massive um, influx of power. So. I'm not entirely sure that's about chances I was going to be going vehicle heavy, but um, even if you're going vehicle heavy, you'd usually um, start with power plant, or other power plant in either a barracks or a, uh, an armory, and then uh, go to tier 2 first while making uh, more power plants when you can afford to. Because yeah, as you can see, it just takes um, forever to get to tier 2, and while that's happening, it's got all these resources that are basically uh, not doing anything for him at the moment. Although he is doing a pretty good job in har harassing this uh, Imperial Guard player, actually, so being able to uh, buy himself enough time to take to Tier 2 and most likely start off with uh, some good old-fashioned vehicles. So this Elder player, uh, not seeing too much there, though. They are go going to be doing a bit of harassment with the uh, Harlequin, though. Position secure. And yeah, there you go. It looks like the uh, Scout Marines did manage to dig half that point, actually, so... Pure Guard player being forced to uh, recap it. Yeah, a bit of harassment by uh, Epaminond. Epaminond. <laughs> Strange name. <coughs> Harlequin deciding to dance away over there. With good, uh, certainly with good reason. And there we go. It looks like this uh, special player is at tier 2. And we'll just see what he's doing. I don't know. Now he's floating massive, massive amounts of resources. He doesn't have a barracks building um, to 
you know, make infantry units with those uh, with that requisition. Ah, uh, here we go. So yes, he is going with a, uh, a vehicle start. So he was, he was planning to make a, uh, a thermoplasm generator and a machine cult. So yeah, definitely uh, have a vehicle start. Very, very delayed though. As you can see, he really um, let his resources float pretty badly there. That's it, we'll see what happens, eh? see what happens. So these lapers, I'm not entirely sure what they're aiming at, but they seem to be missing uh, horribly. Ah, there we go. Looks like they're aiming for uh, Necron Warriors or teleporting into the Chaos Space from base. So yeah, this is a pretty good tactic actually. From uh, just, he, as you can see, he's built a plasma generator in an allies base, and that allows uh, Necron troops to teleport there uh, when you get the uh, summoning corpus. So yeah, pretty... um. Pretty good tactic, actually. Yeah, one you don't unfortunately see uh, too often when it comes to Necrons. Interesting enough, Miria is doing a bit of a disruption and also a bit of damage to the uh, plasma generators. This Chaos Plasma player, from what I can see, they don't seem to be a tier 2 though, so... They're not going to be able to, to do too much anti-vehicle damage to these Vipers. Although the Vipers will certainly have to withdraw if they want to... Uh, Keep on going. Unfortunately, one has been sacrificed and two have survived. Oh, that's a Harlequin. Okay. <coughs> so, this is effective against infantry, apparently, but um, from what you can see, it's pretty effective against vehicles and. Well, moment of vehicles, but buildings at the very least as well. And, and I'm pretty sure they're not too bad against uh, vehicles as well. Yeah, this is a pretty nice play by Epinon. These are. Uh, Retaining his opponent a bit in his base, although uh, if he's not fast enough, um, the Pure Guard player will be able to break that defense uh, rather easily, actually. Still, that never hurts to set up those sorts of uh, deterrents. And chances are. Okay, well, he would. Epinamond, or however you want to call him, uh, would actually do, do himself a pretty good favor if he upgraded his. Uh, Heavy bolter turret to a uh, missile turret, but uh, unfortunately, it's not going to do that. So, just having a look. Yep, looks like two critical locations have been captured. The third one in the middle, for some reason, has not been captured. I'm not entirely sure why. And I must say, it's too bad that um, we don't have the critical locations victory condition there, uh, because that might actually force the players to, well, to actually do something rather than uh, just sit back in their base and. Uh, all bases actually and build up their army. That's interesting. Looks like Epinamond is actually building up a barracks, a second barracks away from his base, and finally going to tier two with with a uh, yeah. The upgrade for his infantry units, um, weapons upgrade actually. Just have a look, see what uh, Tiao's doing. Not too much. So he's built a bunch of um. Land speed of Tempests, but as you can see, he's still hoarding loads and loads of resources, so might be better off uh, going for somewhat more, uh, well, somewhat heavier vehicles, actually. I don't know what the hell he's thinking, but uh, there you go. That's what they're upgraded. Crack missiles, crack missiles, and more crack missiles, so plenty of uh, crack to go around this, this way. <coughs> and yeah, as you can see, they'll be able to do a bit of um, harassment, actually. Any anti-vehicle units approaching? Ah, here we go. We got the immortals approaching for the uh, Necrons. So, if Dial's not careful, he'll, uh, as you can see, he'll lose a uh, light speed of Tempest. And here we go. Looks like MP Nanond has uh, finally decided to uh, well, upgrade his infantry. So this is at tier two. Helltown's not going to be able to do too much damage, unfortunately. Looks like these uh, Pure Guard. They've been upgraded with. Uh, Nade launches, and they're going to be supplemented, uh, supplanted by uh, the uh, the mortals. <coughs> and what do you know? Epinamon is actually going for a uh, dreadnought unit, which would probably be a good idea for uh, Dial to do as well. But uh, strange enough, he's actually going for heavy heavy armor deployment, so it's going to tier two. So chances are we're probably going to be seeing some uh, predators being built by uh, this particular player. We'll have to see what happens, I suppose. Interesting engagements here. Necron Warrior is able to get a few uh, pot shots off at the uh, Space Marine infantry, as you can see. And it looks like we got a bunch of Necrons ready to, um, to flank the uh, 
Space Marines as well. But at the same time, though, yeah, I was mentioning still a bit of a harassment. My powers are yours to so I might just um, might fast forward this a bit. Although, here we go, we might finally see a bit of a push by Necron. So, pretty nice uh, use of teleportation and the solar pulse, but that is, you can see, he actually managed to negate the uh, ranged effectiveness of all those infantry squads all at the same time, though, including the heavy bolter turret, which is now missile turret, and the yeah, listing post. The only um, unit that's actually able to shoot is the good old force commander. And there we go, so we've finally got a. Uh, Pushed by both Necrons and the Impure Guard to recapture their forward point, actually. And there you go, you even got the uh, Impure Guard's command squad to uh, do a bit of damage as well, and the flanking Necrons as well, so yeah. Pretty nicely executed, actually. I'm pretty surprised that uh, Epinand, Epinond, however you want to spell his, pronounce his name, actually built his production building so close to the front and uh, probably would have been better off uh, well certainly here. as they say hindsight is 2020 but he would have been better off in any case in uh, building them a little bit further behind than that just an upgrade so yeah so pretty standard stuff for the uh, social player and it's actually going with a land raider and given that he got has a massive influx of uh, power the power is awesome he'll actually well, you should be getting a second uh, machine card so you can actually um, produce vehicles to uh, well, to be able to use all the resources that he's getting. Well, strange enough though, instead he's building a bunch of heavy bolter turrets in the middle of his base. I'm not entirely sure what the rationale for that is. Uh, might be better off building them around here, but there you go. And at the same time, though, we do have a bit of a battle happening on the left today. Looks like Chaos has taken to tier 3 and he's got uh, some pretty nice heavy troops there, being able to do bits of... Uh, damage as you can see. And here's an interesting you don't see too often. Uh, looks like the Chaos Sorcerer has actually been attached to the possessed uh, Chaos Space Marines. Usually you would see them attached to a uh, different squad such as um, uh, Berserkers for example. But uh, then again it's really more for the uh, early game. And as you can see this is certainly not the uh, early game that's for sure. There we go, pretty nice uh, manoeuvring by Miria here, just jumping in their warp spiders after the obliterators and also put, putting the uh, Seer Council through to provide a bit of a uh, meat shield and do some melee damage as well to these uh, intrepid Chaos Space Marines. So, pretty nice executor, but at the same time though, the Necrons and the Imperial Guard were able to advance on the right though, and as you can see, Necrons have just teleported to the uh, Chaos Space Room base to be able to do a bit of damage as well. a message by one of the uh, players and apparently... Uh, okay, so yeah, it looks like one of the players has actually uh, left the game, which is uh, going to be interesting for the top right team to say the least. I'm not entirely sure how they managed to hold the line for um, so long though, according to this um, in-game time, and we've actually got quite a few minutes left. That's who knows, I might still be able to pull a win from this, but I uh, don't like their chances too much. We already saw a uh, space from play repulsed on the uh, right hand side of the map, and uh, yeah, we're going to be seeing something uh, pretty similar most likely happen to the Elder here, and then, and then after that, it's just a matter of uh, advancing forward with a combination of the uh, Necrons, Space Marines, and the Imperial Guard troops who are hanging out in their base here, actually, it's not doing too much. But at the same time, though, we do have a Land Raider coming out for the Space Marines. <coughs> so he's going to be able to do quite a bit of uh, damage there. Although I don't know how much of a good idea it is um, to move him around like this. As you can see, he actually uh, his land raider has been disabled by uh, with Curse of the Machine Spirits. And I think it's going to get bombarded as well. Maybe not. Oh yes it is, okay. Bombarded a bit as well, so... Not such a good thing to happen, but... Uh, able to um, provide a bit of covering fire for this uh, Librarian Terminator squad to come in and for the Force Commander to come in as well though. Yep. So I think he was trying to do a bit of um, orbital armor damage to the uh, Necromon lift, but as you can see it's uh, been fully restored and yeah it's going to um, wreak a bit of havoc as well actually as well. And so from player might have uh, wanted to perhaps put a building in it here to do uh, some repairs to it. So there you go. So we 
got a major battle happening in the middle of the Necron player's base. And yeah, if he's not careful, um, his restored monolith will actually uh, just become a regular monolith. I'll just see if he has anything preparing. It does have a single uh, single unit of builder scarabs, but um, doesn't. Oh, actually, yeah, he's, he's repairing it now, so there you go. And yeah, unfortunately, it looks like a space marine player has been repulsed. But at the same time, though, that has given. Uh, some uh, leeway, or rather, allowed for the focus to be taken off the uh, elder player who's been able to do a bit of damage to the uh, Chaos Space Room base, as you can see. But it's only a matter of time before these uh, Necrons and Imperial Guards uh, teleport into the base. So, just have to see what happens there. So, it looks like uh, he's targeting the HQ building with his um, Fire Prism. It's a bit of a high risk, uh, especially considering that the, uh, they got a, the bulk of the enemy. Um, army coming towards them, but they might just be able to pay off, especially if they can uh, destroy it when it's at a uh, uh, tier, th well, tier 3 up here, so it looks like they might just be able to do that, um, they also got the Avatar of Cain joining in, and a uh, couple of Dreadnoughts to do some damage as well, so not bad at all. <coughs> yeah, interesting. Pretty good use of uh, fanaticism by the priest, but, uh, yeah, not so bad at all, so actually it's pretty surprising really, I'm not surprised that uh, Space Marines and the uh, Elder could get through. Two versus three, though. That wasn't. Uh, it's a pretty good effort, to be honest. But well, we'll see if they can keep up this attack. Their armies. Um, if they're not careful, their army will get uh, utterly decimated and then they won't be left with uh, too much at all to say the least. Thing. Looks like a mind control that was used on those warp spiders to get them to stay behind and uh, yeah, to get picked off. That looks like. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the uh, elder player is uh, retreating a bit westward to the outer reaches of the, uh, the Chaos Space from Play Base. And it yeah, looks like he's going to be trapped there. So most likely, we'll be seeing a bit of a last stand by this elder player. But it looks like he's actually deciding to retreat to the rear of the uh, Chaos Space from Play Base. So just have a look. There is a path though to get to the um, to the rear pretty easily though. So I don't know what the uh, elder player is hoping to accomplish by that. But and yeah, I certainly don't like this uh, dreadnought's chance either. And uh, yeah, down he goes. So just have a look. It looks like another land raider has been built for the uh, space room player. And Wow, so it's only floating quite a few resources. This is certainly something you definitely do not want to do um, in a real-time strategy game, especially this sort of game. Is they, yeah, float this many resources. So he has bought a couple of predators though with uh, las cannons, but um, yeah, with this amount of resources, he really could uh, be maxing out his army, army pretty easily. I mean, he's, um, he, can get, he can get some more space marine squads. Uh, Grey Knights and that sort of stuff, and uh, yeah, unfortunately he's just not deciding to do that for whatever reason. Although he does have a Grey Knight squad and uh, Chaplain along with the Librarian somewhere else, but um, yeah, not really seeing too much else for him, so. And these Predators, I'm not going to be able to do too much. And yeah, there goes one Predator, and second Predator is most likely going to get either killed off or possessed, but he actually gets killed off. I think um, that was actually uh, self destructed by the. Uh, Commanding player just to stop uh, the Lord, Lord Destroyer from uh, mind control, yeah. <laughs> and what do you know? We've got the good old Bane Blade and a couple of supporting tanks for the um, Pure Guard as well, and they're going to be disabling Land Raiders, so they. Oh, that's interesting. I thought they disabled it, but apparently not. Land Raider almost escaping. It'll most likely get killed off now, provided that. Um, Pure Guard guy actually uh, moves up his troops a bit. Yeah, chances are, though, yeah, the main raider's going to be able to escape just barely, though. So hopefully, uh, DL will actually be repairing that. Just see what's happening at his home base. Not too much. He's building more predators. But without supporting troops, uh, predators can only do so much, especially against uh, anti vehicle units. What do we have here? Looks like a Pyrrhism has actually been possessed by the uh, Necron Lord. And for whatever reason, isn't doing too much damage, I'm not entirely sure why. Which 
interesting. Oh, okay, that's right. So we must have um, one fake monolith and uh, one real monolith. So I think this one might be the fake one. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, well. In case. Yeah, sorry about that, just need to clear my throat for a second. <coughs> so yeah, I'm not entirely sure why, but uh, this older player staying behind... Ah, okay, it's because he had that um, stasis ability. While well, the Lord destroys so it's not going to be doing too much to say the least, but yeah, it looks like they've um, finally gone out of stasis, and yeah, they're most likely going to be facing quite a bit of a... Uh, hurts to say the least. And yeah, same with this um, elder player, he's just retreating his squads right now, so... Yeah, don't um, don't know what the uh, elder player and the uh, space room player are going to be able to do. To be honest, uh, they're facing pretty sizable um, and uh, pretty balanced armies, actually. And uh, yeah, they're just uh, a player short, and they're deciding to space room players deciding to build a second stronghold, just so they, uh, you know, just as a nice little replacement. And he's finally deciding to build space room squad, so they finally might be able to uh, stand a chance now. But um, Probably not though. Ouch. And, uh, yeah, that predator is certainly not going to last very long. He definitely would want to uh, retreat that. And that second predator that's going to back it up is not really going to last too long either, to say the least. And uh, yeah, down one goes. Sick one, yep, just being able to escape though. Okay, so now we'll just fast forward a bit. So chances are these players will be sitting, uh, sitting pretty for a few minutes. Yeah, just moving uh, resolutely ahead, as you can see. A couple of cultist squads moving uh, pretty resolutely ahead as well. Uh, they'll certainly last a while. And there we go. Looks like we have a Bloodfirster created, and yep, he's going to be doing a bit of damage to the uh, Space from Players base, actually. See, so, interestingly, um, the Seaman actually. Oh, that's good. Well, when comes to damage, yeah, this um super weapon for the uh, Chaos Space Room player it actually loses health when it's not in uh, melee combat, and it actually gains health when it's in melee combat, but only against uh, infantry and commander units. But surprisingly enough, it actually does quite a bit of um, base damage, as you're about to see. It's actually, if it went for these um, Grey Knights, I'd say um, it'll probably have a good chance of destroying this uh, stronghold. In fact, but uh, yeah, thankfully the Space Room player at least had enough sense to build a. Uh, a squad of great Grey Knights against the uh, Necron player, and uh, yeah, down it goes into the abyss. Bam. So yeah, pretty uh, dramatic exit, actually. And what do you know, we actually have a bit of a... Uh, more of a battle occurring on the uh, left again. It looks like this restored monolith is... going to get destroyed. Well, actually, it doesn't really get destroyed, it teleports back to its base. Um, but the real one is here, actually, so... Actually managed to destroy... Oh, that's right, because, um... Yeah, this one would have been fake. Would have been fake, uh, because... The real, um... Monolith doesn't, uh... Doesn't get destroyed like that, it teleports back to its, uh, home base. See, so, yeah, Elder Player just deciding to, um... Not do too much at the moment. Yeah, it looks like they're just, uh, running away from these, uh, cloaked Cow Space Marines. But at the same time, though... We have a uh, bit of a battle happening between uh, some super units here, and yeah, fortunately for the Imperial Guard, they're actually rep repairing their Bane Blade, and unfortunately for the Space Marine player, he's uh, not doing that, and he's actually getting bombarded by the uh, command squad pretty badly. Well, yeah, there you go, the Bane Blade's actually been uh, taken care of by the good old fashioned Assault uh, Terminators. And uh, yeah, we actually. Um, have a bunch of terminators which I think are teleported behind this uh well <laughs> behind the um pure guard players you can see. But yeah, the uh space player might just be able to repulse this attack and yeah it might actually be able to successfully counter attack as well. Looks like at the same time the uh, Necrons have managed to teleport their monolith 
straight into the space from player's base, and uh, yeah, as you can see, he's uh, just tearing up his building, so pretty good uh, maneuver by the Necron player, especially while the uh, space from player has his uh, troops a bit out of place, so I'm basically stuck engaging the uh, Imperial Guard troops, so if the uh, Chaos space from player is fast enough, they might just be able to do quite a bit of damage to this uh, space from player base. Oh, so that was a fake one. Ah, not bad at all. Because, yeah, fake monoliths, I'm pretty sure, can still teleport, and, uh, yeah, you can teleport troops to them as well. So, yeah, pretty good use of the, um, fake monolith, actually, by the, uh, Necron player. So, even though his forces are most likely going to get killed off, he did manage to destroy a bit of the, um, Space Marine player's infrastructure, as you can see. Though it doesn't really matter too much, because the Space Marine player's floating resources, anyway, as you can see. So yeah, this um, looks like they're most likely to get cleaned up though, but um, if the Imperial Guard uh, get their troops a bit more um, forward, it might uh, present a bit of a problem to this uh, space from play, as you can see. At the same time though, we have a battle happening on the left there with this uh, Elder player doing a bit of, uh, well, pretty much destroying um, this, the uh, Chaos Space from play base, actually. I'm not entirely sure, but I think... I just heard something... Um, ah, there we go. And the good old Blood First are coming in there. Uh, do a bit of damage as well. <coughs> but yeah, there goes the yeah, Demonic Pit, actually, so... I think, um, unless the Chaos Space player has built another building, he's most likely going to be uh, out of the game. And a bit, a bit, a bit of a shame, actually, because as you can see, he did manage to get his um, Demonic units out just... Um, before the uh, respective buildings then got destroyed, so pretty good uh, effort in there. Yeah, so that's just the uh, <laughs> Bloodfuster kicking away uh, infantry and uh, playing a bit of baseball with them, as you can see, out of utter disdain, so to speak. And there, there goes the Wraith Lord. So, the even Prince, so, and it, he's starting to get a bit low on health, though, but uh, Bloodfirst is certainly going. Uh, Pretty strong. The elder player, for whatever reason, is not dancing his troops away, and uh, really, warp spiders would be the perfect troops to dance away because really, you could just teleport them away um, from single melee units like this uh, bloodthirster. Yeah, amazingly, um, the pure guard has actually just been standing around while the uh, Saiyan player has just been, uh, yeah, holding his base. So. Yeah, this might actually turn into a uh, two versus two, and uh, yeah, as you can hear, the um, Demon Prince has actually just been destroyed, and I think that's the. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I think this might still be a fake monolith. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, oh, actually no, it's the real monolith because it's uh, producing a unit. So there you go. <coughs> but unfortunately, as you can see, this. Uh, Real Monolith has uh, had its health depleted too much, and yeah, it's going to be uh, to teleport uh, anytime soon. There you go. There you go, pretty good effort by the uh, Elder player to say those. Although the, ca the uh, Space Room player is doing a pretty good job holding off the Imperial Guard, but the Imperial Guard, at the same time, he's um, not being too aggressive. So. Which is uh, certainly not, not the uh, name of the game in this case. And there you go, for the second time the Bloodfirster uh, is um, yeah, cast away from the material plane, so to speak. Uh, probably getting uh, tired of that happening, actually. <coughs> so, interesting enough, it looks like... Yep, the uh, real monolith has actually uh, come, come on my mind again, so yeah. Chaos, the uh, Necron player will most likely have quite a few resources saved up, so it's just a matter of uh, rebuilding it and uh, yeah, having it uh, come out again because it's new. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, I think. It's like uh, something out of Doctor Who, actually. But yeah, unfortunately, it's uh, going to be cast away again. There's just um, too many Elder forces, even though they've been split up for some arbitrary reason. Uh, probably. All the players forgot about him, and um, yeah, Necromonlef has again been uh, 
been disabled, uh, or rather its active form has been disabled, and yeah, it's most likely going to get killed off as well. Well, this dreadnought might not um, last too long though if he lets these uh, obliterators tear him up though. But, uh, yeah, Necromonolith is about to fall, and down it goes. So yeah, it's a good thing that the uh, Necron player built a second monolith. And as you can see, he's actually um, going to be upgrading that to the uh, super unit as well. And yeah, by looks like the uh, Imperial Guard is just barely breaking into the uh, Space Marine player's base right now though, but um, he's still on the outskirts though. The Space Marine player is uh, certainly still within the game. Hasn't His production buildings are still online. So, yeah. And amazingly, the Elder player has actually managed to keep his uh, avatar of Kane alive, which was uh, pretty good, and I'm pretty sure that... Oh, that's right, that's the uh, real the restored one. Left. So yeah, there we go. Looks like the Chaos Space Marine player has uh, slowly been rebuilding his base. Though. And yeah, what do you know? He's actually um, going to be making his own blood first as well. And yeah, Hotcha yeah, looks like the Avatar Kane is not going to last too long. So yeah, pretty good um, defense by Space Marine player and uh, defense by the uh, Elder player. The um, could be seeing the bottom of team doing is either bringing their uh, Imperial Guard back, or um, sorry, the Imperial Guard being the, bringing their troops back uh, to help out in the defense, or actually being more more aggressive against the uh, Space Marine players' base. But again, they're doing what they can. But uh, as you can see, they just at all times seem to have a bunch of troops that aren't engaged in doing anything at all, which uh, is not going to uh, help to say the least. Looks like the fake monolith has been uh, destroyed and yeah, the fire prison again has been taken over by a um, Necron Lord. Well, uh, the gold Necron Lord, I can't remember exactly. Oh, Lord Destroyer, that's it. <coughs> and there you go, looks like Bloodfesters has come in to join the party as well, so not bad. So yeah, Elder Player, for whatever reason, retreating his fire prison away from his. Uh, well, his former fight my I'm not entirely sure why he didn't just try to uh, destroy it when he uh, had the chance. And as you can see, he's finally committing the uh, troops that he kept in reserve as well. So his forces are getting thinned out a bit, as you can see, but um, he's being able to do quite a bit of damage to the Necron player's base and to the Chaos, to the original uh, Chaos Space from player's base as well. Or rather, to his original base, should I say. There you go, looks like our Space Marine player is doing a pretty good job in uh, harassing the Space Marine player's base, and if he's uh, not careful, then his production buildings and, well, infrastructure in general is just going to get taken apart. So the uh, Elder player could probably um, spare a Fire Dragon squad or two just to help out in, uh, just to, you know, defend his base a bit so that um, Space Marine player doesn't get uh, overrun. Now that I think of it, I wonder if... Um, Imperial Guard might have actually done a bit better in that, maybe trying to assault the uh, <coughs> Elder's base actually instead. Given that the Elder has managed to commit their, um, well, committing bulk of their troops to, um, or at least half of their troops to uh, attacking the bottom of site. the pr prize up there. <coughs> and by looks so we had uh, Assault Terminators I think getting teleported into the rear line so they tried but they couldn't quite get rid of that Buster skin. They might have actually been better off going for the uh, heavy, heavy weapons team as they would have been uh, a bit more stationary to say the least. Um, still though very good effort um, in defending actually and uh, yeah it looks like the Zelda player and in the bottom left is certainly not out of the uh, out of the fight yet when it comes to the offense on the bottom left actually because to be honest I thought they were, uh, they were being a bit thinned out there but it looks like um, yeah, so the troops can magically uh, get replenished in a hard battle they were able to do that to the uh, few squads that they have although if they're not careful this uh, last warp spider will get killed off and then uh, yeah they'll basically uh, remove a spawn point for the uh, other warp spiders and yeah down he goes so Fortunately, as you can see, he is re reinforcing with uh, his other troops 
coming in from his base. So yeah, chances are he might have kept them in reserve in case if the um, Imperial Guard player managed, managed to break out um, in the space for player's base. But seeing as that wasn't the case, he's decided to uh, attack the bottom left. Um, well, that's what I'm guessing anyway. But, uh, who knows, he might have just um, forgot about the troops in his base and uh, yeah, decided to send them through now when uh, the rest of his elder troops are in uh, pretty big trouble. <coughs> and yeah, as you can see, the uh, Pure Guard player really should be um, doing something with his troops. He's just ke keeping them in reserve. He's not um, sending them forward at all. Uh, got some harassment, um, of course, but it's just not really the same as a full frontal attack. I mean, you have a bunch of troops sitting around and you're not doing anything with them, well, no wonder you're getting uh, torn apart, actually. But uh, we can do it. Gives um, Elder and Space player a uh, fighting, fighting chance, actually. And. Oh, huh, okay. I was just checking the messages. Um, for a minute I thought maybe the Imperial Guard player might have been going easy on the uh, Space player intentionally because it was a 2 versus 3, but um, in either case, they certainly don't have any reason to go easy on them now, uh, having their own. Uh, Base is getting uh, slowly torn up by the older player, and at the same time being unable to penetrate the uh, Space Marine player's, well, outer perimeter of his base. Even. <coughs> so yeah, Nickel player base is yeah, it's getting rebuilt here, and, yeah, and hasn't been spotted by the uh, top right team actually, which is kind of funny. So he's had two monoliths rebuilt, and yeah, it's actually going to be creating the uh, super unit again, once again, for the uh, Necro player. Restored model. Good stuff there, indeed. <coughs> and yeah, this is um, right next to the older player's base, so if he can teleport his um, restored mon monolith and get in some, uh, I don't know, a couple of pariahs, maybe a, um, a few immortal squads out, then yeah, he'll be able to do quite a bit of damage to the elder player, and um, yeah, won't be able to do the elder player won't be able to do too much about that, given that he's yeah committed all of his uh, troops to attacking the uh, chaos. Well, the bottom of team basically. But the space marine player, as you can see, is uh, finally <coughs> finally being able to uh, retake his forward position, uh, wrested from the imperial guard's grasp. Yeah, it looks like the Pure Guard has just been, yeah, depleted almost entirely. Which is interesting because his, um, his own base is still relatively intact, but he uh, has barely any troops surviving, so... It might just be that he uh, <coughs> got wiped out r r too quickly before, his, um, before he was able to rebuild his troops. Looks like this fire prison has been disabled. So yeah, it be interesting to see what this um, Necro player actually does with his base. He is actually going to be attacking um, the Space Marine player rather than the uh, Elder player. So I don't know how much damage they'll be able to do though, given that um, uh, they still need to do damage to two bases. Or they need to destroy two bases while the... Um, hmm, interesting. While the um, Elder player is uh, basically destroying the... Uh, Pure guard base, and yeah, the uh, space marines are also finally being able to help us as well. Actually, yeah, that's what we're seeing. Uh, yep, yeah, all in assault from the uh, elder player, and not too much happening, but for the Necron player. So for whatever reason, they um, they're just not uh, assaulting. So I'm not entirely sure why. We're doing a bit of a gradual assault, but um, given the state of uh, their teammates' bases, they'll uh, want to do something a bit more drastic because if they're too slow, then uh, eventually the Imperial Guard's base is going to get, go down, and uh, yeah, the combined Elder and uh, Space Spring Force will just be able to match up to the uh, Necro player and yeah, just to take out his base just like that. And here we go, we finally got a. Uh, yeah, just come on by them by saying, uh, saying 2 versus 3. And indeed, that was the case, but surprisingly enough, the top right team managed to pull a win from this. So that's um, pretty incredible to say the least. And I'd say, I'd have to say most of that um, 
was due to the very, very good offensives by the uh, elder player and the uh, rather stalwart defense by the uh, Space Marine player. So, yep, pretty good, uh, pretty good effort indeed, actually. And there we go, looks like the uh, Imperial Guard's base is about to be destroyed and interesting enough the Necro player's got the um, cloaking ability for his... Um, huh, interesting. Anyway, he's got the cloaking ability for his um, Necro Lord. And at the same time though, he might just be uh, capturing this Predator tank. Yep. Ouch. And he's been upgraded with Lascan, so that's going to be a, be a bit of a problem to say the least. But um, what do you know, Imperial Guard is still in the game and... So is the Necron player, and that's for Chaos. I think they've been entirely destroyed, from what I can see. Yeah, because they've been uh, yeah. completely wiped out. So yeah, now it's uh, two versus one, uh, funnily enough. And uh, Necron player is most likely going to get taken out. I think it looks like he's decided to... Ah, there we go. Necron player's decided to teleport his um, Lord into do a bit of harassment. And at the same time turn into the essence of the deceiver. So, a bit like chamomile essence, but um, a bit more deceptive, I guess. So maybe just like chamomile essence, but anyway. <laughs> As you can see, I was actually temporarily managed to take control of this uh, Salt Terminator squad. And yeah, before he turned into the essence of the deceiver, turned the Necronaut into the essence of the deceiver, he managed to cast the um, the uh, solar flare or solar pulse ability. So pretty good uh, Necron warrior, uh, Necron Lord control there. But I don't think he's going to be able to do too much damage though, most likely. So yeah, as you can see, Elder player, I think is um, yeah, just trying to mop up the, the uh, rest of the. Uh, Forces at the bottom left, and uh, yeah, after that they'll just proceed to um, yeah, destroy the uh, Necron player. But the Necron player, though, he is managing to build up his forces a bit, though. And if he manages to destroy the Space Marine player base, at least I'm on the right side, he might have a slight chance. But no, no, he's most likely not going to have a chance now. Elder player is really uh, sending a few re reinforcements uh, from his own base to help out the Space Marine player. So yeah, it's most likely to be a matter of time before the Necron player. Um, it's destroyed. And at the same time, though, I wasn't expecting a um, two versus three to actually uh, work for these uh, intrepid players, but they managed to, um, yeah, pull off uh, what appears to be a win, though. So, you know, it's maybe a second miracle will happen. You never know, eh? Yeah, it's interesting, actually, that the Necron player can cloak entire build. Uh, well, it's really a a moving building, I suppose. They can cloak entire moving buildings like that. Um, you'd think uh, the, you know, the enemy troops. They would just think, well, it might be invisible, but if we aim in its general direction, and chances are we're going to hit it. So. But to know, why do that? Eh? <coughs> and there we go. Yeah, looks like the Imperial Guard has been entirely wiped out. No traces of the Chaos Space from play base. So yeah, now it's just down to this. Uh, Necron player. And yeah, it's a good thing about the Necrons, actually, um, if you're playing them, that is. Um, in order to <coughs> be able to, well, to get resources, all you have to do is uh, create plasma generators, and uh, yeah, they just run off that single resources. Although you still need um, to capture points, though, to increase your squad and uh, vehicle cap, though. So yeah, that's a bit of a, uh, an onion in the ointment if you're trying to uh, do that. But there you go. So he's able to maintain a pretty good offensive actually, and uh, yeah, he's actually been able to wipe out the uh, right hand side. Well, well, some of the right hand side of the uh, Space Marine player. But that's the thing though, Space Marine player does have a spare, well, a secondary base here, I suppose you could call it, which will be able to um, yeah, just take over from the, uh, yeah, Chaos Space, uh, the um, base that was destroyed on the right though, and at the same time, we do have um, the Elder player slowly coming back, and yeah, he'll be destroying uh, the Necron player's base as well. And yeah, as you can see, the Space Marine player, he took a pretty heavily pummeling, I'll give him that, and yeah, he's still, uh, still up and running, so 
pretty good effort by him in also deflecting this uh, Necron attack as well. So they must say all throughout the game there was no respite for the space player, and yeah, he just took those punches and he kept on going. So, props for that, so to speak. So yeah, basically no contest. The uh, restored Molly from one side to get destroyed, and uh, yeah, Necron player's base is uh, slowly getting destroyed as well. I think that sounds like the uh, one of the abilities that the Chaos uh, Space Sprints use, actually, which is kind of fun. As for the is Necronaut, I don't, don't, don't entirely know what he was thinking, sorry, by um, casting a Solar Flare. I guess it was just a bit desperate there. And uh, there you go, he's been, his base has been destroyed. So, yeah, pretty nice 3 versus 3, uh, turning into 2 versus 3 later on by uh, all players concerned. So, yeah, it makes me wonder how it would have. Um, turned out with this, uh, if the middle player didn't quit, or didn't get kicked or disconnect for whatever reason, so, yeah, nice game indeed, be uploading this game a bit later on, and until that happens, this has been Damien Davidovich, signing off.